Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. And in today's vlog, I'm super excited about a decision that I wanted to change to this gear from the traditional large cameras that I used to use with Nikon and um, Canons in the previous days. And now I've gone to something really small, so I'm super excited about it. I hope that you liked um, the previous vlogs that I've been uploading. But from today, the vlogs are completely gonna change. I'm so excited because um, I've been wanting to make this change, but I wasn't too sure just because um, moving to a mirrorless APS-C or a mirrorless camera system was something I wasn't too sure about. So super excited, let's get straight to it. I'm unboxing the Sony A6300. Reason why I did not buy the 6500 because I did not find too much of a difference and that additional 50,000 Indian rupees, I'm not too sure if it's totally worth it only for three odd features that the 6500 offers over the 6300. So getting straight into it, unboxing. So you open the box and you have an HDMI cable, which is pretty much, it's a very smooth cable. It's pretty much uh, the one that connects to the camera on one side and your HDMI TV on the other. You have tons of documentation. For me, this is my, the bill. And um, yeah, so that's another copy of the warranty card. Sony India Private Limited gives you a warranty card that you can use and it's got service coupons. So that's that. Then you've got a list of the service centers and network list. You get a free um, memory card, 64 gig Sony memory card, free with the camera, so that's pretty cool. And um, it's a really high speed card, so that's, that's pretty amazing. Um, you need to register your camera on the website and you get this, um, you get a free screen guard with the camera, so that's quite nice. You get um, a phase one, which is like the editing software that is produced especially for the phase one cameras for Sony. Um, so it's called Capture One Express, which is pretty good. It's uh, quite a good editing software. I'm very comfortable with Lightroom, so I'm not too sure if I'll ever make that switch to um, editing with phase one, but I've got definitely got to give it a try. And if it's great, probably might switch. Um, you have a com lens compatibility chart, which gives you like a whole different list of what um, comes on it. You have an interchangeable lens, digital camera, instruction manual. I'm not gonna look into that. Um, you have for customers in India, you get a battery pack, yay. Um, Wi-Fi connectivity, one touch guide, NFC. So, oh, okay, I didn't know this camera had NFC. Oh, so that's pretty cool. You can download straight to your phone and you just need to download the Play Memories mobile app, which is like this mobile app that you can use to transfer files directly wirelessly over um, Wi-Fi to your phone. Getting straight into it, um, I've already opened the charger so I could show you um, if you have this tiny little charger, you've got a cable, so you plug that into the back. And if you notice here, it's got a USB on the other side. So it's got a standard USB cable, the one that goes into any Samsung phone. You plug that here and the other side straight into your camera and you can, you're ready to go to charge. Um, it requires, so you can charge it off any USB as long as it is five volts and 1.5 amperes. So that's pretty much a specification to charge your camera, which is pretty cool. That's quite nice. I bought an extra battery, which I'm, I really think that any photographer needs to buy as soon as you buy the camera because you're gonna run out of power and you don't wanna run to find a power plug. So always carry ex extra power. So that's pretty much it. What they've given you with the camera is they give you this free camera case in India which so it'll depend on your region but in india you get a free camera case on the 6300 which is quite nice it's actually a really nice case and the body of the camera itself so i have charged the camera and it comes with a nice pretty wide um 16 to 50 lens which is pretty cool so the good part about the lens is it is not too wide but it's not too too um telly as well so like even if you're holding it about that far from your face, you're gonna still get your entire face in the frame, which is pretty cool because if you're into vlogging, that's a brilliant camera to go to. It's got an interchangeable camera system. 
and uh, that's pretty much the camera that it is i am gonna get rid of these small little things because they get very annoying um, when you're shooting video because you create tons of sound so that's basically the camera and the lens that i'm using apart from that i picked up my first lens on an e-mount which is the sigma 30 mm 1.4 dc contemporary lens so that's pretty much it so i 30 mm on um, a crop sensor is quite nice actually because you get it pulls in a little since it's a crop sensor so it's a 1.4 so it's going to give you some nice shallow depth and um, that would be pretty exciting to work with because the camera system itself has really good fast focus tracking which i'm pretty excited to try out um, my next video is going to be exactly that it's going to be exactly um, a video that i shoot only on the 6300 no drones nothing of that sort but it's just going to be a pure 6300 short video and color corrected in final cut so that would be pretty exciting the bag can easily store one lens and the body of the camera which um, is pretty much that and that's and you're ready to go for a shoot which is so exciting because i remember the time when i had the vanguard bags or the uh, the low pro bags they were so huge because my camera bodies were like d800s or, or 5ds and they were so big but now this is what my camera does and it is so exciting that my camera is just that small now apart from that something that i got to mount on the top of my camera is the rode video micro which i am super excited about because even though it has this fluff in front of it as soon as you mount it on the top of the camera it does it isn't visible in the camera frame at 16 mm so even on the kit lens though the kit lens is a little wide comparatively um it does not come into the frame so you can shoot as wide as possible and not be too worried about um the dead kitten on the top of the camera so that's actually really nice so that's pretty much the road micro mic that i will be using and that's what the setup will look like and you take this um road cable and you plug it into the back and you plug it straight up and you set the audio levels and you're ready to go so it doesn't show at all even if it like tilts down a little and it's got a shock mount on the top so pretty excited about that because um that being said it takes away any form of um rubbing against the body and things like that so that's quite nice so that's pretty much what it'll look like when i'm shooting with um the new setup it's very light the body is really light so it's you won't really get too tired when you're shooting for long hours and all of that and um, i'm super excited that i've switched to a mirrorless body finally it's been a really long time where i'm deb debating this issue where i can switch out of nikon and get into shooting mirrorless but i've made the switch uh, i hope you like this video it's super short um comparatively because i'm just unboxing the camera and i wanted to tell you why i've switched over to shooting with this brand and shooting with something that a lot of photographers debate about because um considering the fact that mirrored cameras are still there in the market and they they definitely have their perks but i wanted something that's really light that can shoot 100 frames per second not be too expensive but also give me the ability to change lenses so i i saw that this was one of the only options out there apart from the gh4 the gh5 and the 6500 that also shot 4k so these were my options finally narrowed down to sony and i thought this was one of the best decisions i've made i've actually shot on it and i'm going to show that in tomorrow's video but i hope you like the video that i'm uploading give me a like give me a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video guys so that'll be a sony video bye guys